In this video, we're going to be replacing the lower control arm on the driver's side of this 2008 Acura MDX. All right, we're going to take our wheel off and use a 22 millimeter socket. Now we're going to remove our ball joint from our knuckle. First thing we're going to do is take out this cotter pin. I'm going to use a pick tool. This cotter pin is a little bit different than other ones. I'm going to use a pick tool and open up that side. And a small pair of bent pliers, needle nose, and pull the cotter pin right out. That's what this one looks like. Now this castle nut here, it's going to be a 19 millimeter. I'm going to use a wrench and just break that free. millimeter socket we're going to go ahead and remove these two bolts they're on the arm from this pivot from your control arm take these out with a 22 millimeter socket we're going to go for our front bolt on our control arm. All right, we're gonna use a pickle fork to separate our ball joint from our knuckle. We're going to put our castle nut on just a couple of threads of our fork. All right. Now what we can do is take off our castle nut, pull down our ball joint and control arm, pull it right out of the knuckle. Now move the ball joint over to the side so it doesn't go back in place. All right, so on top of where you took out your two bottom bolts for your control arm, between those two, you'll find one more bolt facing down. It's gonna be a 14 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and take that out now. Oh, there he is. So we're gonna pry or pull down a little bit on our control arm. So that way when it slides forward, we're not pushing into the knuckle. And we're gonna pry back this area here, as well as the front. We'll try and take them out even, best we can. All right, so just using a rubber mallet to help get us into position. All right, so now we're just gonna keep working our control arm back into place until our bolt holes line up. All right, now that we've gotten really close 
what we're going to do is use a large screwdriver to move our bolt holes around. We'll put a couple of these in just to hold them in place. We'll work on the other side. All right, so on our back two bolts here, we are going to thread these in just loose enough to hold this control arm in, in place. We might be a little misaligned. I know we definitely are in the back here. And so now we can put our top bolt in. All right, so our front bolt is misaligned here. So what we're gonna do is just use this screwdriver just to move that control arm a little bit. And we can put our bolt in place. We still have our front ball joint loose. We're not going to tighten this down. We're just gonna get a few threads going. Now we're going to get our ball joint into the knuckle. Because our control arm is loose, we are going to put a pry bar between the control arm and the frame of the vehicle. We're going to pry that down. You can see we're a little misaligned, so we'll just line it up. Give it a couple of taps with the rubber mallet. Seat it in. Now we can put our castle nut on our ball joint just to hold that in place. We'll come back. We're gonna tighten everything down and torque it to spec. All right, so we're gonna tighten down these two bottom bolts here. You can see that now everything's in position. We got a little bit more play. Both snugged up, we're going to torque them down to 69 foot pounds. All right, so now we can torque down our top bolt here, and that's going to be 29 foot pounds. So now we can move on to our front bolt. With the vehicle suspension under load, I'm going to tighten this down, 119 foot-pounds. Now we can tighten down our castle nut on our ball joint. We're going to torque that down to 83 foot-pounds. All right, now we can put our cotter pin in. Just going to align that. I'm going to use a pair of bent needle nose, pull that tab up, rotate it over, and lock it into position. So we're just gonna not torque these, but just tighten them up and we'll come back and torque them. All right, so now we can torque down our lug nuts. We're gonna tighten them down to 94 foot-pounds. Again, we're gonna use a 22 millimeter socket for that. We're gonna do them in a crisscross pattern.
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.